Oh, yeah. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Zach, what are we doing today? We are filling up the radiator with oil. <laughs> <laughs> guys, last video we tried Mountain Dew in our radiator. Link in the description. Go check that one out first. So today we're doing a sequel. We're going to try engine oil instead of coolant. And this is not going to end well, my theory. It could. Theory. It could end well. I'm very pessimistic about this. <laughs> this isn't going to end well. Either A, some other hose is going to burst open again. Or B, we're gonna have a very, very dark chocolate milkshake radiator. So guys, what we're using today, we just have Quaker State, I think it's full synth, yeah, I splurged for the full synthetic stuff. We got full synthetic 0W20. This is the lowest weight oil I could find at Walmart. So my idea is lower weight, you know, better flow. It's gonna take like two gallons, two gallons yeah, to fill it up? just about. So we got? We got two gallons of oil and the Miata takes just under two gallons in the radiator. So yep. let's get to it. Last video, we did a massive burnout with the Mountain Dew coolant and we actually ruptured this heater hose right there, that one. So all we did, we cut off the excess, which is right here. So it actually broke and cracked half of this hose. So we cut this off and just put it right back on. Easiest fix ever. Before we do this test guys, we're gonna flush the Mountain Dew out to make sure this is a fair test because who knows how much sugar is still in the block in the radiator, probably a ton of sugar, and it probably became some kind of melted syrupy goo, probably. Probably. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also drop a comment, what do you want to see next? 50-50 on if that hose is actually gonna hold up. It's gonna be a waterfall of freaking oil spewing out. I know, it's gonna be bad. Go ahead and get the car on these ramps real quick. <laughs> what a smoke! <laughs> this thing smokes so bad. <laughs> I don't know if that's the Mountain Dew or the head gasket or both. <laughs> it's like give me a new heart, Dad. <laughs> the good news is, guys, we do have a new engine that's going in as soon as we blow this one up. This is actually the engine that will be going in as soon as this one breathes its final breath, which might be a while because this engine is freaking reliable. Here's the thing, considering it's just Mountain Dew in the system, we can just drain it on the ground, dude. There's no environmental concern about that. Good point. Please don't tell our landlord. <laughs> I hope our landlord doesn't watch this because uh, you're not going to have a good time. Uh, that's righty tiny. Zach's still learning how to that's loosen and tighten bolts. I always do this. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for your daily dose of barrel skeet? Bet you won't chug it. No, I'm just kidding. Don't chug it. Just it's healthy it. for you, dude. Yeah, you go in there and take a sip. I have the camera. <laughs> oh, it oh, scared me. <laughs> this Niagara Falls over again. Why would you leave the nut there? Hold on, it got on the lens. One second. That's a lot of Mountain Dew. I got a pee now. <laughs> so now that the Mountain Dew is out of the system, we're going to use the garden hose to flush water into the radiator while the drain plug is out. I was wrong. Let's do it. Oh, it's so close. It's this close. I don't know if the hose will reach all the way from there yeah, to we there. Shoot it into it. We can shoot it into it? Yeah, just aim it. You gotta, you gotta angle it. Just we're guys, we're not good at aiming. The hose is literally five feet too short, so we're gonna move the car forward and the ramps forward. Yeah, so we're just gonna do this for like 10 minutes because this thing is probably filthy on the inside. Yeah, it's gonna get even filthier in a minute. Yep. As we're flushing the Mountain Dew out, it smells like straight burnt cotton candy. That's what it smells yeah. like. Yeah, good. It'll be <laughs> fine. All right, boys. Coolant system flushed. Time to fill it with oil. So we gotta get the water out of the reservoir because we're cleaning the reservoir out. So we're gonna siphon it out with a very small little hose. Technically you wanna use a bigger hose, but this is the longest hose I got and I really don't feel like using the fuel line hose off of Big Red. You do know you can unbolt the reservoir tank, right? Are you gonna do that? No. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> this looks so funny. <laughs> ah, you can taste the Mountain Dew. Well, you're not supposed to put it in your mouth. <laughs> You're not supposed to put it in your mouth. You're supposed to stop right before it goes in your mouth. Well, it got to my mouth really fast, okay? <laughs> I took one hit. Like, you, took, you took a hit off a hose. I took one suck off a hose. There you go. And it was all in my mouth. <laughs> I would like to inform you guys that this episode is a very special episode solely because we actually have a funnel this time. 
<laughs> we never use funnels and we actually have one for once. <laughs> Zach just told me he has a surprise for the channel. I don't know what the surprise is, so I'm gonna be just as surprised as you guys are. I really don't know what it is. We're about to find out. <laughs> what the hell? What is that? Wait, wait, that's wrong movie. Is that an incredible onesie? Giving the Miata some special powers. All right, guys, here we go. Zero W20 engine oil going in the radiator. I bet you never thought you would see a day where you're wearing an incredible man onesie while pouring engine oil into a radiator. No, not at all. <laughs> Welcome to Novice Garage. <laughs> oh my God, this feels so wrong. This is gonna take a while. I'm really curious to see how well it flows. That's my main concern. It's flowing pretty good so far. Ah! It's giving it superpowers. Mr. Incredible Secret Superpower. All right guys, first gallon down in the radiator. Time for gallon number two. All right, the oil is in. The entire radiator is filled with oil. Yeah. Just litter it, pulled out. Okay. Yeah. We'll clean it up later. All right, Zach, you wanna do the honors? Go ahead and start it. Engine oil as coolant in three, two, one, hit it. Wow, it actually started, surprising. Don't push the hood up. Good old morning wood doing its job as always. Cause uh, your boy lost his hood prop. Time to put the oil coolant to the test. Car's still warming up, but we're gonna go ahead and drive it around the block so it can warm up faster. Okay, so, so far, so good. It's driving normal. Temperatures, it's still warming up. It's not getting crazy hot very fast. Throttle response is poo, but it was the same way as soon as we put the Mountain Dew in the radiator last video. Yeah, hopefully this doesn't catch on fire. That'd be that'd be nice. Put my seatbelt on too. <laughs> so if you all notice, our stock water temp gauge, which is right here, according to this, the car is up to temp. But if you look at our aftermarket water temp sensor, which is right before the radiator, it's barely getting started. It's barely warming up. That's a little bit weird. Couldn't tell you the reason for that, but <laughs> that's reassuring. All right, y'all, we're gonna do a quick first gear acceleration test. Let's go ahead and hit it. Full throttle. It's slower than a stock Miata, by far. <laughs> so far, the temps are pretty, pretty normal. Let's see if it does burn out. What's <laughs> going on? <laughs> it's like, nope. All right, I think up here we should stop the car and make sure nothing's on fire. Oh, I didn't see that. That is my head. <laughs> I didn't see that speed bump. They're probably looking out the window right now and be like, what the hell is that dude in onesie for? Yeah. I think we're good, dude. I, I think, think we're good. I think we might be just burning a little bit of oil. Yeah. And that hose is actually staying on. Surprising. It's not leaking. It's not leaking. No. So far, so good. Let's get back to the house. What's spewing out right now? Something broke. Something just busted. What broke? Something in the back. Oh, I think it's the same hose. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Guys, look at the ground right now. Oh, you can see from right here, dude. Like, it's spewing everywhere. Oh, yeah. It got the same hose. On a lower part. That's crazy, the oil is like foaming up right now. Yeah, it is. Well guys, literally, as soon as we pull into our driveway, it pops. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be better timing. Oh, here's. <laughs> and Caesar we're pulling in, I'm like, hopefully this thing doesn't catch on fire, because all we got is a water hose right there. I know, that's all we got. Well, we have we do have a fire extinguisher. That was some good that timing. That was perfect timing. Perfect. Of course, the camera wasn't recording, but I'm not complaining too much. This is what's coming out of the motor right now. Uh, that's disgusting, dude. Oh, it looks so bad. 
coming? <laughs> oh, he's coming out of the front. It's like the Miata's rabbit or something. I say let's go ahead and jack it up and uh, try and it's drain. It's cold. Is it cold? It's cold. Really? Yeah. It is cold. That's so weird. Guys, we literally just shut the car off too. That's so weird. It's, it's really cold. It is. It's cold to the touch. It's as cold as the ground. The ground may have cooled it down, but it's not that hot. It couldn't be that hot if it cooled down that quick. Yeah. Let's go ahead and jack the car up and drain the radiator and see what it looks like. All right, car is jacked up. What is that, dude? What is that? Is that water? I think it's water. It's like, I don't know what that is. It might just be oil breaking down. Check this out, guys. It might be water just it looks, because it's going on top of it. It oil looks like ice heavier. cream almost. Yeah, oil is heavier than water. That's crazy. This will be kind of cool to see. Ugh. That's disgusting. It looks like vanilla milkshake. It's nasty looking. It's disgusting, dude. Look at that. Grody. All right, out comes the bucket. <laughs> so that's what oil looks like when it's used as coolant. It looks like vanilla, like you're saying. It is hot. That's so weird. Yeah. The oil that came out of the radiator is pretty warm, but the oil that actually spewed onto the ground was like ice cold almost. Yeah, it was really cold. So there you guys have it. Yes, you could run engine oil as coolant, but we would not recommend running it for very long. So yes, you can. That concludes today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And do not forget about the new sponsorship of becoming a new member. Yep. If you want your name written on Big Red right there. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. We will be doing a full engine teardown. We've done so many videos on this car, experimenting with fuels and now coolant. If you want to see a full teardown of what the inside of this engine looks like, be sure to hit that subscribe button. What do you guys want us to try next? Bye! Peace! In case you're wondering, yes, we did put a GoPro in the funnel to get that clip. Still recording.